Hey, what's up fellows? Yes, it's me. Welcome back. This video is number four of our series on IT skills for beginners. In the previous videos, we have covered Windows 11 troubleshooting, hardware basics and components, and networking fundamentals for IT beginners. If you haven't watched them already, I highly recommend going back and watching the whole playlist first. So everything we're doing here will make a lot more sense Today, we are moving into another very important aspect of IT fundamentals, Active Directory users and group management. So you may ask, what is Active Directory? Active Directory, or AD in short, is a tool for managing all the users, computers, and resources in an organization from a single centralized system. Think of it as a control center for your company's IT environment. It keeps tracks of who has access to what, manages logins, and ensures security policies are applied consistently. Active Directory is owned by Microsoft, built into Windows Server operating system. Every medium and large company that uses Windows Network relies on Active Directory to manage its IT infrastructure. So why was there a need for Active Directory? Before Active Directory, IT administrators like myself had to manage users and computers individually on each machine. Imagine having hundreds or even thousands of computers, each with its own users, updating passwords, permissions, or security settings would be a nightmare. Active Directory solves this problem by giving administrators a centralized system to manage everything at one place. Without Active Directory, companies would struggle to control who can log into computers or servers, manage access to shared files and applications, and in for security policies consistently. With AD, IT administrators can easily manage users, groups, and permissions, and keeping the organization secure and organized. So are you ready to learn more and do some hands-on? Let's dig. Hey, what's up, guys? So before we dive into this, I just wanted to give you a quick example um, how the Active Directory actually works um, or would work in a real-life scenario. So think of Active Directory as like a school main office, like this is the principal office, which is the, the controller, right? The domain controller. This is this is where everything is being controlled. Um, the main office manages everything like students, teachers, and staff. So think of it as users, right? Um, it knows who belongs to school, um, what access they have and which classroom they belong to, right? When it, <clears throat> when a teacher logs into a school computer, uh, the principal's office checks their ID, which is basically username and password and permissions. If they're authorized, they get access to what they need. If not, uh, they're, de they're denied, basically. Um, Active Directory works the same way in a company. It keeps tracks of um, every user, computer, and permissions. Uh, all in one central uh, central place. Um, instead of managing, let's say, hundreds of computers separately, um, everything is controlled from one main office right here, the domain controller. Um, that's how IT teams make sure the right people have access to the right places um, at the right time, basically. Um, now, imagine if there are uh, if there was no principal office. Just imagine that scenario. Um, Nobody would know who the teachers or students are, which classrooms they belong to, or what they what they are allowed to access. Uh, students might walk into any classroom they want. Um, teachers wouldn't know who's supposed to be there, right? And there'd be total confusion. Uh, every every computer would have to keep its own list of users and passwords. Uh, no central control, no organization, and no security at all. Um, so yeah, total, total chaos. Uh, that's exactly what a company's network would like, um, would like without an Active Directory, basically. Complete chaos. Um, Active Directory basically fixes that by acting as the central management system. Uh, keeping everything organized, um, secure, and basically easy to control, right? It's all about control, remember. 
just like a well-run school uh, where the principal's office keeps everything running smoothly, um, Active Directory works the same way. So just wanted to give you this quick uh, demo so it's uh, easier to understand how um, the background, uh, how everything works. Thank you. Hey guys, so let me tell you uh, what exactly you need to know in Active Directory. And this is probably uh, for, for the first six months or maybe a year of your help desk career, this is all you'll be doing. Um, the first thing you need to know is how to uh, create a new user account. This is when a new user is starting, you will be creating an account. The other thing you need to know is or how to reset a password. If uh, a user forgets the password, you will go in Active Directory and reset the password. Another thing you will know, uh, you will need to know is account lockout. So if user makes uh, three attempts with the wrong passwords, their account will be locked out. This is a security feature in Active Directory. Uh, your job is to uh, and the user will call you so your job is to verify who the user is and then basically unlock the account uh, number four um, you uh, if a user needs access to a group um, let's say they are finance person but they don't have access to finance group you will add them to finance group basically so adding a user to a group and last but not least um, account disable after departure so if a user leaves the company you need to disable their account uh, so that's uh, yeah that's another thing you need to learn but basically those five are the main ones that you need to know that's pretty much it thank you all right guys so we are in Active Directory now um, I'm going to show you the the, the, the very basic uh, the common way the common way we create the accounts there are several ways you can do it but I'll just show you that the, the the very straightforward one the first thing you need to know is how to create a user account so there are several um, you will just go into users and then basically right click on and new and create a user right here to do, do this and then from here just you pick a uh, first name let's say first name is John and then you go tab tab and then go last name let's say Taylor right John Taylor and then you go user login name and you'll say uh, J Taylor this is your username right and then you will click on next and this is where you pick a password password let's say um, You pick a password and the next thing you do make sure user must change password at next logon is checked because we do want user to change their password when they log in because right now you're picking a password so you know the password um, and that is a security breach so what uh, you want to force user to change a new password so only they know it and you just hit next and basically hit finish and that creates a user account once you have John once you found John Taylor what do you need to know uh, let's say John Taylor needs a password reset you'll find John Taylor and then basically right click on John Taylor and see reset password you open that up and you type in you select a new password and again make sure user must change password at the next logon you provide them a temporary password whatever you pick right here and you provide them the temporary password and uh, when they log in it will ask them to change it again and that's how they get a new password but they are they have a new password basically that's that's one right uh, another thing is if let's say a user is locked out you'll find John Taylor again double click and go to account and this is where it will say account lockout right this is it will show you um, and basically right now it's not locked out but uh, let's say if it's locked out it'll say account lockout and you'll just select the option unlock and then hit OK hit apply um, and this basically unlocks the user 
uh, and then you just tell them, hey, go ahead and log in. Why, why does account lock, lockout happens? When a user try to log in with the wrong password or they are typing too fast, uh, things like that can lock you out. Um, now, the fourth one is granting access to a group. Let's say John Taylor belongs to finance group. He started, but he does not have access to the finance data folder. What do you do? Uh, you open up John Taylor, double click, and see on the top says members of. So you click on member of, and you hit add, and then let's say it's finance, right? So you select finance, and check name right here, and see how it fills it? and you click OK and now John is part of finance group and you just hit apply and OK and John has access to finance uh, and the last but not least let's say John leaves the company you will get a notification from HR hey disable his account on Friday after 5 o'clock uh, so make sure you have it in your calendar that John is leaving Friday 5 o'clock Friday 5 o'clock you will come here you'll right click on John's name and you see how it says disable account you just disable account like this right and if you click on John again see it says account is disabled there you go so that's all you need to know in Active Directory basically for the first six months or maybe a year of your I helped us um, career so yeah that's it that's the pretty basic um, and um, hopefully this was helpful thank you so that's it folks you have just taken your first big step into managing users and groups in Active Directory one of the most important IT skills you can learn as a beginner remember age is never a barrier in IT whether you're 40 or 50 what matters is practice persistence and willingness to learn every small step that you take builds real-world skills that employers value if you've been following along you now understand not just what Active Directory is but why it matters and how IT professionals use it every day to keep organization secure and organized. That's powerful knowledge that sets you apart as an IT professional. Guys, the journey does not stop here. In our next video, we're diving into common IT tools, including remote control softwares, IT help desk ticketing system, and video conferencing. These are the tools that make IT support work effectively. Actively. So make sure you stay tuned, like, and subscribe because you don't want to miss the next part of this series. Guys, keep practicing, stay consistent, and remember, it's never too late to start your IT career. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take yourselves and others. Take care. Bye-bye.